Hello my fellow sparklers, welcome to my channel, Wonderland Tea and Diamonds. I have a triple diamond art club unboxing for you and today's theme is by the seashore. So we'll be looking at ocean themed things and as you can see already they're all three square which was not planned, they just all happen to be square. They are all fairly detailed paintings so square kind of gives you that better detail. I like both squares and rounds, um, I know some people don't like them but this is what we're looking at today, so let's get started. So, this first one um, is special to me because of my honeymoon with my husband. So first I'll look at the toolkit real quick. We'll just cover one square toolkit. Um, most of you have probably seen it, but I'm going to show you anyway. Um, and so, okay, it says here what the contents are. I'm sorry, that that barcode is kind of messing with what it says. Um, let me see if I can put these bags back in and that kind of helps. So it does say you should get a multi-placer. And there's not one in here. There was a time period where basically they just did not get multi-placers in from their uh, shippers. So some of the kits that don't have them. That's fine for me. I have them. If you really wanted one, I'm sure you could write to them. And once they have some in stock, they'll send them to you. So you, with squares, you get these very pointy tweezers. They're super sharp. So you kind of want to keep track of that so you don't actually accidentally poke yourself at some point in time. Um, and they're really quality, sturdy tweezers. You get this nice blue diamond painting pen. And uh, usually you would get a multiplicer at the end. And then we have a pen grip. Pretty blue shade, very appropriate for our ocean theme today. And then two heart shaped waxes. You can see they're opaque, which kind of indicates better quality pink wax. And this clear tray. And some baggies. Get about, it looks like four or five baggies there. So that's a square kit. And it's the same for all the squares. Um, if one of the others has the multi placer in it, I will pull it out just to show anyone who's not familiar, but I, most of you know what it looks like. So, this are the stickers, and what we're going to look at is the young green sea turtle. He's so cute. And this uh, is a painting by Carolyn Steele. Uh, it's 71 by 56 centimeters, it's square, and it has 38 colors. It's very colorful, but I love all the teals. As you know, I love teals. And when we were on our honeymoon, uh, my husband is from England, so we actually couldn't leave the country because he was applying for a green card. But we really wanted to go somewhere kind of exotic and tropical, so we went to St. Thomas, uh, a U.S. Virgin Island, and it was beautiful. At the time, even though it was a year later, um, they were still kind of recovering from Hurricane Maria. Um, so you saw some of the hotels were still shut down and, and people were just still struggling a little. So I encourage you, if you have time and money, even a couple years on, it, it would help the economy and the locals um, to go visit these places. Uh, St. Thomas we got... A direct flight from Atlanta I believe um, so it wasn't bad and uh, usually I think you fly into Puerto Rico and then you change planes but we were able to get a direct flight on Delta into uh, the St. Thomas Airport which is tiny for those of you who travel very much um, let me pull out the, so you can see all of this okay so you can see all the little fishies hanging around these beautiful coral reef fishes and then the fan coral um, there's some more fishies over here and then I don't know what kind of coral this is but it's a pretty kind of sagey green shade and just really really um, kind of calm and beautiful and colorful pick it's uplifting and calm at the same time to me and we got to go swimming with the sea turtles um, which if you do, go find a guide. They're going to show you the best place to find sea turtles and they're going to help you where you're not going to interact with them in a negative way. A lot of people try to touch them. They really don't like that. They're very kind of skittish. and uh, But you can just kind of hang out. They're like 
sea cows at the bottom of the ocean. I know manatees are called sea cows, but they really, they go to the bottom of the ocean and just nibble on seaweed, like a cow eating grass. And they'll do that for about 20 or 30 minutes and then they'll come up. So you just kind of have to stalk them um, in the water above. And when they come up, they swim fast and people swim slow. So <laughs> you have to like kind of be quick to catch up with them and see them surface, but you don't want to bump into them. You don't want to be too close. So it's it's very kind of tricky, but it was a lot of fun and we really, really enjoyed it. I will also say in, put sunscreen on your bootay because we were face down in the water all day, kind of floating. Um, so the butt was up towards the sun and it was not someplace I thought to put sunscreen and I was burnt, crispy. So that's my advice to you. I highly recommend it. But um, I just love this painting. I love the colors um, and I love the feeling it gives you. I think it would be beautiful in a room or a bathroom or any place you might want to put an ocean thing. And just look at these beautiful shades already. We can see how beautiful these are. So I'm going to open this up, hopefully save you some crinkling, and we'll get back. Okay, so you can kind of see with it laid out, even without the full scope of this color range, how kind of jewel toned it is. Really, really pretty. And what I love about this painting is you get four packs of this color. I love teals and turquoises. My husband says I'm drawn to it like a moth. You get four packs of three, four, six, which is called light bright turquoise. So these two are separate and then you have this set. 3855 is called Light Autumn Gold. 3823 is Ultra Pale Yellow. 783 is Medium Topaz. 300 is Very Dark Mahogany. Two of those. Then we have 3853, which is Dark Autumn Gold. Very much kind of a a pumpkin-y orange. And 3371 brings up the end of this particular chain, and that is black brown. So already, we don't have a bunch of 310s. I don't know if we have any 310. We have a little bit. It's coming up. Okay. Here we have 938, and this color is ultra dark coffee brown. Here it is. And here we have 136, a nice big pack of ABs, and this is a nice deep blue AB. And anything below 150 in Diamond Art Club is going to be your AB colors, so just really pretty there. 3837 is Ultra Dark Lavender. Two of those. Then we have 209, which is Dark Lavender. Two of those. We have 210, which is Medium Lavender. 3854, which is medium autumn gold. It's kind of a sherbety orange. Uh, two and two packs of that, obviously. 208, which is very dark lavender. Two of those. 327 is violet. Two of those. We have 820, which is very dark royal blue. Two of those. 780 is Ultra Very Dark Topaz, two of those. 782 is Dark Topaz, and we have two of those bringing up this train. All right, moving on to the next one. This is a long train because it's all the smaller numbers of colors. We have 550, which is Very Dark Violet. 322, which is called Baby Blue. It's kind of a, a deep baby blue. Uh, 991 is dark aquamarine. 699 is green. So to me it's a deep green. It's not quite like a crayon green. So I got 954 is Nile green. 130, this is our other AB and it is a bright yellow. I call it like a sunshine yellow AB. Let's see if I can get some more. You can kind of see those flashes of iridescence there. Really pretty. And we'll look at where the ABs go. 992 is light aquamarine. 3814 is aquamarine. 
$7.99 is medium delft blue. $38.43 is electric blue. $166 is lime green. $8.90 is ultra dark pistachio green. $5.19 is sky blue. And $9.93 is very light aquamarine. Kind of a dusty light feel on here. $8.44 is ultra dark beaver gray. $9.95 is a dark electric blue. $7.03 is chartreuse. That bright green there. $38.45 is medium bright turquoise. 823 is dark navy blue. And then very little bit of 310. It's our last color. The end of this train. You get that little bit of black 310. So that's all the colors for this. Um, the ABUs, they're not always the first ones, but this one they are. So get these out of the way. And one is um, 130 the yellow AB, and number two is 136 the blue AB. And so you get all the number ones in these fishes, which is so much fun. So let me, sorry, let me bring it close for you. So you see their vibrant yellow stripes are going to be those A, B. So they're really going to flash and pop for that. Um, and then number two is darker. And it's hiding over here in the coral. So it's going to kind of give that coral some pop and shine. Um, let's see, anywhere else? I mean, it's just all in the coral areas. Down here, over here. So just really, I don't know why I don't want to focus. Come on, there you go. I know you can do it. Just really a lot of fun. I love um, the details you get with squares, and this is definitely worth all the um, kind of Extra work squares can be with getting them straight. Some people like them better. They find that they work faster with squares than rounds because rounds drift a bit more because there's more space in between them. So sometimes it's actually harder to get them perfectly aligned. But squares, once you get some down, they kind of line against each other. Yeah, love this painting. Um, I'd definitely like to see more from this artist. Um, I don't know if she just does wildlife or she does a variety of things. I'm really not familiar with her, but I will put a link to check out her artwork below um, so we can all kind of learn more about her. Uh, if this comes back in stock, it's out of stock at the time I'm making this video. It does come back in stock periodically, so keep an eye out. Or if you really love it, uh, look for the D-Stash groups as well. But that's it for this one. We're going to move on to number two. Okay. Here we have our second painting we're going to look at, and this also has a seaside theme, and uh, it is a Chuck Pinson, so I think a lot of you know what this is. This does also kind of remind me of um, another trip I took to the beach with my friend Megan, and we went to um, the Outer Banks. Sorry, the stickers are stuck in the box. There we go. I shook them out. And... There is a lighthouse in the Outer Banks that looks a lot like this one. So, without further ado, we have Cottage by the Sea. And this is not what the housing on the Outer Banks looks like. Oh, this one's more curly for some reason. This looks a bit more Caribbean. Um, it's got more stonework, and then the foliage over here looks maybe more tropical. So maybe this is more... Um, New Englandy? It's definitely not Outer Banks. The Outer Banks houses are all like up on, um, I, I don't know what they call them. They sit up on top of a platform, so if there's flooding or a hurricane or something, then the houses are usually still safe, and your car might be in there and your car might get damaged, but your, your house is safe. So. The lighthouse, though, is similar to the Hatteras Lighthouse with its black and white pattern, but this is obviously much smaller. The Hatteras Lighthouse, I think, is the tallest lighthouse in the U.S. I might have to look that up. But I love this painting. It's a really cute house. I'd love to have this house by the sea. Is this listing for sale? I would take it. Um, and then you have this pre pretty stone path coming down, cobblestone path. you got your little boat sitting over here waiting to 
go out on the water and the beautiful sailboats, some seagulls, and a beautiful sunset. Um, and it, in the camera, it almost looks like this is actually glowing. So it's really pretty. It has 43 colors and we get two ABs. Um, so a lot of fun, this one. This would be another beautiful one for just about any room in your house. Uh, for me, I'm just very particular about kitchen ones that wouldn't really go in my kitchen. But this could go in the foyer, it could go in the dining room, it could go in the bathroom, bedroom. It's just a really fun pick that could go anywhere. Um, so I am going to show you these drills. You can kind of see this one's a bit more earthy toned. So there's some vibrant sunrise, sunset colors. I think this is sunset, but um, hard to tell. If this is the east coast, then obviously the sun coming up over the water, well, that's going to be sunrise. Um, it's funny, I love to get up and go to the beach at sunrise and take pics. Uh, it's just the thing I do because I'm on the east coast, and that's the only way you get pics like that. Unless you're on an island, and then, you know, you can go to the beach on the other side of the island that faces west. Um, but... <laughs> My cousin was like, uh, well, if you take sunset pics, they look the same. You can't tell the difference. But I know the difference. I know I was there at sunrise. And there's something special about being there at the start of the day when the sun comes, comes up over the horizon line of the ocean. There's just something magical about that. And I love sunsets too, don't get me wrong. But that's just a little more relaxed. Your day is winding down. And the sun coming up over that ocean horizon to me is just really inspirational. And I love it. So I do like this pic. Um, is if it's on the east coast this is a sunrise and I don't know uh it will we'll have to ask Chuck maybe he says where this is at what do you guys think but the flowers by the side I wish my garden path looked this pretty this is really cute I may have to get whoever did this to come to my place and I don't know if you've noticed this we've got two little seagulls kind of hanging out um on this rock checking out the scene so it's just a lot of fun you get the same toolkit, and this one does have a multi-placer, so I'm going to show you that really quickly, if I can get it out. Here we go. This is a four-placer. There you go. And I really like the thin ones. They've moved to the thin ones. Um, sorry. So I really like these thin ones. Um, they did have the kind of the chunkier ones, but the thin ones just work so much better. I actually didn't like multi-placers at first, but when I started using these thin ones, I was like, this works so well and then you just pop it in there i like having straighteners on the end of my pen too so that's a lot of fun another blue pen holder and everything else is the same as it was in the sea turtle uh, for some reason we have a lot more bags this is this is probably 10 or 12 bags <laughs> so it's kind of random sometimes the number of bags you get i think they just grab a handful and stuff them in that's my theory i don't know how these get packed um, but everything otherwise is the same for all the square toolkits. So, let's get into these drills. So this is an interesting palette. It's very earth tony with the, the stones and the trees and some of the foliage. Um, but then you get these really vibrant oranges. So it's almost autumnal, but the scene itself to me is very summery. Although they do get autumn at the beach as well. Um, but the trees are vibrant green and the flowers are really blooming here. So it feels kind of maybe like the end of spring or the beginning of summer kind of ramping up. Um, but yeah, it's a really fun color palette. Definitely definitely a lot of vibrant kind of yellows and oranges and uh, a bit of red. So let's take a closer look at all these fun colors and I will tell you the DMC names. So let me come in closer. There we go. We get better light down here too. Seven... 79. There's two packs of this, and this one is called Brown. It's kind of a dark brown to me, though. I would not just call this straight up brown. 935 is dark avocado green. It looks kind of black in person, but you, when the light hits it, you see that green tinge to it. 3814 is aquamarine, and that was a short little train because there are a lot of those colors. There's a lot of these, too. 9.38 is ultra dark coffee brown. We get one, two, three of those. And 9.37 is medium avocado green. Really pretty. 3.371 is black brown. Two of those. 
three of those. Mm -hmm. 3856 is Ultra Very Light Mahogany, kind of a vibrant peach color. And 3778 is Light Terracotta. To me, it's like a coral. They're very pretty. Alright, here we have 934, which is black avocado green. Really dark, you can just barely see that hint of green in there. 402 is Very Light Mahogany. Two of those. 3864 is uh, light mocha beige. It's really kind of like a creamy tan. 434 is light brown. Two of those. 898 is very dark coffee brown. One, two of those. We have 356. It's called medium terracotta, but it kind of comes across as more of a coral orangey pink. Really nice. Very fitting for the beach. 3860 is just cocoa. Two of those. 677 is very light old gold. Really pale yellow, antique yellow sort of color. 732 is olive green. 839 is dark beige brown. 3855 is light autumn gold. 435 is very light brown. 562 medium jade. 3861 is light cocoa. I like the cocoa range. I don't know why. I just like the shades of brown. 644 is medium beige gray. And the end of this train is 3854, which is medium autumn gold. So we can get a lot of those. So we get 3854, 55, 56, so a lot of the same colors in that thing. Moving on, we have 841, which is medium, I'm sorry, is light. Moving on, we have 841, which is light beige brown. 698, nope. 699, which is green. It's kind of a deep thing. 814 is dark garnet. Uh, 129, this is one of our ABs. It's kind of a, a light buttery yellow. Doesn't have a DMC name. Uh, 3830, this one is terracotta. 733 is medium olive green. 433 is medium brown. 3021 is very dark brown gray. 368, light pistachio green. 915 is, I think it's plum, dark plum. 301 is medium mahogany. 989 is forest green. To me, it's a bit sagey. Uh, for me, a forest green is quite dark, and this is very sagey, but it's beautiful. It is kind of a pine green shade. 718 is plum. 640 is very dark beige gray. Really? Very dark? Okay. This is still beige. This is still kind of light. 3348 is light yellow green. 550 is very dark violet. 131, this is our other AB. You can see it's that arm sugar AB. Just beautiful. I'm guessing this is probably going to be in some of that sunrise. But we'll take a look. 815 is medium garnet. And 823 is very, or I call it dark navy blue. They just call it dark blue, but it's definitely navy. So that's all the colors we have. Um, let's see. Pull these off. We're going to look at the ABs. Now, AB number one is that light buttery yellow, and AB number two is that kind of orange sugar AB. And number one. Okay, so we start getting number one already here in the stones, in between the cobblestones. And uh, there's some on the railings of the house. So this is going to kind of make that pop. Uh, some on the lighthouse here. Uh, it's in the sailboat. And then some of it is kind of here in the waters. 
Um, it's not here. Well, it is a little bit there. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So it's just kind of um, dispersed all over the place, kind of lightening things up. Did you guys see this little, I think it's a goose or a white duck? Isn't he cute? Just kind of sneakily hanging out beside this house. That's so funny. Okay, and then number two. So we get number, a lot of number twos here in the flowers. Kind of making those flowers pop. There they are. And here on the porch light. Um, we don't get any number twos in the lighthouse light, but it's daytime, so it's not lighting up. And it is not, in fact, in this... I kind of thought this would be number two, but actually there's a huge group of number ones, so this sunrise is really going to just like pop off this painting. Because uh, here, just this coloration right here, it already looks like it's glowing, so with those ABs, it's going to be amazing. It's going to look like you have a sunrise for real on your wall. So I really like that use of ABs. I think that was a really, really good rendering of that and a really good use of ABs. So pull you back out to see the whole thing. Um, that's all I have for this one, Cottage by the Sea by Chuck Pinson. Again, I think everything I'm showing today is sold out on their website, but this is another one that's popular. It comes in and out of stock, so keep your eye out and check that stock regularly. Um, you never know when I'll pop in. Oh my goodness, I keep seeing surprises. There's a little, what a, maybe it's a dove, or it could be something bigger like a hawk. So cute, where are all these hidden birds at? It's so funny. I love all these little surprise animals on the Chuck Pinson paintings. They're so cute, and it just delights me to no end. I have no idea why I'm like a five-year-old playing Where's Waldo, but it's just, uh, to me, it's quite a delight to see these little things hiding in the shadows and, and you notice them. So. Okay, let's put this away and we'll go on to the last one. It's one I've been waiting for for a long time to come into stock and I was so excited when it did. And you'll see why, because it is my favorite color. Okay, and last but definitely not least, one of my favorites, we have a nice... Mandy Manzano, and this is a big painting. It is 99 centimeters by 55 centimeters. So some of you might can guess what that is, because there are a lot of paintings of that size. And I forgot to tell you the sizes of the other paintings. I told you they were all square. Let me tell you real quick with my notes. Um, the sea turtle is 71 by 56 centimeters. That's about what I call poster size. It's pretty big. And similarly, the cottage by the sea was 74 by 55 centimeters. So those two are pretty similarly sized. This one is the same, um, well they're all uh, landscape oriented. So this one is the same height, it's similar, 55 centimeters, but it's really long. This is hefty. So let's have a look. It has 43 colors, kind of like the Cottage by the Sea did. These are so soft. I just like to pet them when I unroll them. And I have just been waiting and waiting. And it is the Serene Siren. And it's called the Serene Siren Triptych. Because, oh my gosh, y'all, look at this drills. This is like a brick. Because it has these side panels. So we have one side panel, we have the big main panel, and then we have a second side panel. All right, let me flatten this a bit. So sorry for the crinkliness. Alright, so I love um, all the teals and blues in this, and then the soft sea greens, and then that contrasts with this red, flaming red hair here. And then there's some red on the sides too that kind of contrasts with that, and you see this little blonde mermaid hanging out down here. It's just a really fun scene. I um, This is one of the first time in art club paintings I really, really wanted way back in March. And I thought they were never going to get it back in stock, so like when it came in stock, I was so quick to pre-order it. <laughs> so I've been waiting for it to come in, but as long as I knew it was coming, I was like, that's okay. As long as I know it's coming. Um, so again, 43 colors. We have two ABs. And this one kind of oddly, let me show you real quick. It starts in the 3000s, and then it drops down to the regular number, so it's kind of funny. 
So I'm guessing those that 3808 and the 3809, they're very deep teal colors. That's probably our main color palette. Uh, but let me get, get into these drills and we'll take a look. Okay, so this color palette's no surprise. We have a lot of 310. From here to here is 310. I can't even put it all on the screen. And, um, you know, lots of kind of vibrant reds and then these nice uh, cooling sea greens and teals and blues. So, um, I'm not sure which ones are ABs. We'll get a closer look at that and then see where they appear in the picture. Uh, it's the same toolkit. I don't know why I'm opening it. It's the same toolkit as the sea turtle. There's a good handful of baggies in here. And it has the multi-placer. So, we're good there. And here we have kind of the original. I think I forgot to show you the cottage one, but um, these are rendered so well. I mean, you, you can get a really good idea of what it looks like already. 38 inches, so that's over three feet. It's over three feet long. Um, three feet is the shallow end of the pool, so this is two inches deeper than the shallow end of the pool. Kind of hard to uh, think that that's the case, but there you have it. So let's start with these colors and. Um, Okay, so let's get started with these gels. We have 3809, and that is very dark turquoise. 321, which is red, and it is red. Oh, sorry, oh, just hit the camera. 938. This one is ultra dark coffee brown. 954 is Nile green. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 packs of 310. 11 fat packs of 310. And it doesn't look that dark, but there's just so much outlining here. And then when you get to the side panels, there's more outlining. There's not a lot of shadowing with 310. It's not going to be um, a, a blocking kind of thing, the color block of it. It's all these uh, stained glass kind of lines. So. Ooh, almost a dozen packs. That's crazy. That's the most free tune I've gotten in anything. 400. This one is dark mahogany. And then we have our first AB, 141, which is a standard white AB. That's probably going to be maybe in some bubbles and, and stuff, highlighting stuff maybe. I think so, but we'll take a look. 3843 is electric blue. It's really fun blue. And then 597 is turquoise. So that's it for that first train that was mostly 310. Getting into more of the blues, we have one, two more packets of 597, which just delights me. I love it. Bring it on. 3811. This one is very light turquoise. And then 608 is bright orange. There, you can see the number now. So they changed their packaging with this silver. I really like it, but traditionally it was a white strip. 132, this is our second AB, and you can see it's kind of a fiber orange, and uh, it's really got a nice shine to it. I bet that's in her hair as well. Okay, 3810 is dark turquoise. Two of those. 3846, this one is light bright turquoise. So lots of turquoise. 606 is bright orange red. So just kind of a bit more reddish than the last one. 820 is very dark royal blue. 913 medium Nile green. Just two of those. We have 996 and this one is medium electric blue. 742 is light tangerine. 3808. This one is ultra very dark turquoise. It means a really deep tail. I feel like at this stage you're not in the turquoise territory anymore. You're a teal. So very pretty. 823 is very dark navy blue. Um, 
I think I wrote down 832 instead of 823 because I, I don't have 823 on my list, but I know it's uh, dark navy blue. I'm sorry, very dark navy blue is 939, I think, but this is just dark navy blue. 743 is medium yellow. 165 is bright green. And to me, it's not green at all, it's yellow, but that's what they call it. 796 is dark royal blue, almost an indigo. Lots of fun colors. And we have another packet of 796, so lots of that. 803, they're calling deep blue. 976 is medium golden brown. 300 is very dark mahogany. 758 is light, uh, sorry, very light terracotta, so really kind of a pinky peach almost. 995 is a dark electric blue. 832, oh, we do have an 832, it's golden olive. Okay, I just didn't write down 823, but it's there. 301 is medium mahogany. 740 is tangerine. 772 is very light yellow green. Uh, 732 is olive green. Get closer there. And then 3348 is light yellow green. Looks like light olive to me. 3778 is light terracotta. Very coral -y. 939 is very dark navy blue. That's what I was talking about. 815 is medium garnet. 754 is light peach. 945, I'm sorry, 948 is very light peach. 814 is dark garnet. 166 is uh, this. Uh, 166 is lime green. Sorry, there's a bold, so it's hard to see the number. And then, and then we have 906, and this one is medium parrot green. So that's all the colors for this one. A lot of fun. Um, I'm going to have to cross-reference if I wrote stuff down wrong, because I had some colors come up that were not on my list. Um, 823 was on my list, but this last one, 906, is on my list, 913, yep. Yeah. Alright, so that's all the colors. Let's look at where all the ABs are. So this one's a bit different. Usually ABs are listed as 1 and 2, but this time they've listed these turquoise colors as 1 and 2. And then the ABs, 132, so 132 is C, and 141, the white one, is a kind of square dot. C is definitely in her hair here. Um, some there. You just kind of get little flashes of it. There's some there and up here. And then um, the kind of square dot, you're seeing it here, highlighting her tail and all these little bubbles, highlighting some of these lines. And more C's over here, as I suspected, in the um, side panels and here we have it winding around and up there. There's really a lot of fun colors. Um, definitely a really good use of it. Here she's highlighted by the uh, white ABs coming down here on her shell. There's more on her tail. Just so much fun. I think this one would take a while to do but it's so worthwhile. Um, I'm actually gonna Put this on the floor so you can see the whole thing because that's the only way you can get uh, a full shot of it. I can't lift my arms up high enough to get the whole thing in on the table. So let me get back to you. Okay, so here is the whole thing. Um, I'm trying to turn off this light here to get rid of that glare. And it does kind of change the coloring. You don't get so much vibrancy with that light off, but um, you get more of the detail. You can see it when without that glare coming off the plastic. So I just wanted you to get a full shot of it since I really couldn't lift my arms high enough to get it in. It's that big, um, but I really want to put this in our guest bathroom. I think it's gonna look amazing in there and uh, 
we'll see. My husband doesn't use that one that much, so I don't think he'll have much of an objection. <laughs> but it's going to take me a while to get to this. I'm working on a Christmas present right now. I'm actually working on two Christmas presents right now. I'm working on one for my husband and one for my friend. And um, so I won't have time to get to this one for probably a couple of months. But uh, I think it's going to be the next one I start on once I finish presents. But turn the light back on. See those vibrant colors. So pretty. So again, this one's out of stock, but it's still on their website. So just keep an eye out. They're probably going to bring it back in stock at some point in time. Um, but I just love Mandy Manzano's mermaids. They're just, they're a lot of fun. I could probably own all her mermaid paintings, even though I don't have anywhere to put them. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this seaside unboxing with all these sea themed uh, elements, cottages by the sea and sea turtles and mermaids. Just a lot of fun. And uh, just keep your eye out if you liked any of these. Keep your eye out on these stash groups. But otherwise, just keep on sparkling. <laughs>